Did you know that leaving the faucet on for two minutes while brushing your teeth wastes up to four gallons of water? So in that time, here's a story about how the zoo in Cincinnati is saving water and fighting the city's air pollution. This is Tales of Two Minutes. The status quo is the mortal enemy of sustainability. The day I realized that we used a lot of water was the day I got our first water bill. It was $70,000. And when I saw it, I about passed out. So after spending some time gathering invoices and things like that, I uh, found out we use a quarter of a billion gallons of water a year, which was at the time the largest user in the entire city of Cincinnati. Cincinnati water is not a scarce resource. In fact, we have too much of it. We approached our sewage district about a pretty crazy plan. When we do this new Africa exhibit, how do we collect all the rain, about 15 million gallons of water, and reuse it? There's two very important layers that are connected to water and water waste specifically. In the Midwest, we get most of our energy from burning coal. The largest energy user in our city, just like most cities, is our water works department. The people that have to take the water from the river, clean it, and pump it up to us, which is the primary reason why childhood asthma per capita is the worst in the United States here in Cincinnati. So every gallon of water that we don't take from Waterworks is less electricity they need to use to give it to us. Less electricity, less burning coal, better air quality, and healthier children. This draft exhibit was the first phase of Africa. Halfway through this yard is where the tanks start. It takes up the size of an NFL football field, roughly. So it's a huge system, 20 feet deep. This is where all the rainwater comes into the tanks. We pull it into this filtration system, and it filters the water through these membrane filters, and then we pump the water back out to all the exhibits around the zoo. All of it comes right through this system right here. This is 600,000 gallons. If this wasn't rainwater, this would be causing us to use five to 10 million gallons of potable water just from evaporation through systems like this. And we want to be net zero water, ideally net positive. Long term, can we make our own water? What we've done here facilities-wise and structurally is nothing that anybody can't do. So do you really want it? If the answer is yes, then there's nothing standing in your way. <laughs>